Oh my god. Come on, get up. I mean, look at this. Your trainers, they sacrifice a lot. What's up, what's up, what's up? Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Seriously, you have boobs. Oh my god. Hello, what's up? Who's the trainer? Who's the client? I'm just like, <laughs> who's who? Got the jiggle? <laughs> I've never seen Eric that out of breath, ever. This is really hard. Uh, this is terrible. Oh, my body is like trembling. This whole thing is called life. It's on you. I just feel like every step of the way, it's not good enough. OK, let's go. Now you know what I'm talking about. Come Payback's on. a bitch, <laughs> and so am I. I'm tired of I'm tired of you not listening. Get up. Millions of us are overweight. We struggle to get fit and rely on experts to help us. But for every success story, there's also failure. I'm Drew Manning. I've successfully trained hundreds of clients to lose weight and get in shape. My biggest failure was training my brother-in-law. He simply could not lose weight. No matter how hard I tried, I failed to help. That's when I realized I was the problem. I needed to feel like he felt. So I gained 75 pounds. I developed a fatty liver and the kidneys of an alcoholic. Together, we were able to lose the weight. It was incredibly hard, but it made me a better trainer and a better person. These four trainers are taking the same journey as I did to help someone they love. A wife is making a sacrifice for her husband, friends offering a chance for redemption and sisters dealing with their differences to help each other. It's a journey that will change their lives forever. Whoa. The trainers have pushed their minds and bodies to the limit in an effort to understand what their loved ones go through. No, uh-oh. Jessie has already blown past her goal. Four. Yes! With unexpected consequences. Something about the new Jessie is kind of turning me on. You like him with Jessie? <laughs> I can't believe I'm crying. My whole life, I've tried to not look like that. Eric has put pressure on his body and his family. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Calories make you into a dick. We basically got into like the one zillionth argument. Personally, I don't think that this is going to work, Eric. While Felicia and Tony have grown closer. Pinky swear, you cannot fight me. Gaining weight challenged Felicia's mind like this huge battle with myself. And body. 190 over 90? Oh, yeah. Caught off guard by a health scare. It's definitely the highest blood pressure I've ever had. Carrie was forced to put on the pounds in a healthier way. It's all right. But the added stress found its way home. You were being a bitch the other day. She was upset she couldn't walk down the street because she was fat. Now it's time for the clients to step up and honor the sacrifice their trainers have made for them. Four months ago, the trainers and clients all met here at my gym. It's gonna be really hard. Yeah. I'm gonna basically take this and put it on me. I am terrified at the scale. I don't ever weigh myself. I'm putting together a meal plan for you. <laughs> Since then, the trainers have been hard at work trying to gain 30% of their original body weight. Hi. Today, we're going to see the results. Hello. Well, I'm excited for you guys. I really am. Your trainers, you know, they sacrifice a lot. You know, yeah. they really have. And really, honestly, it is for you guys. We're going to see what they used to look like. Remember this guy? Yeah. 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 He's yeah. ripped. There's my Eric. Wow. Yeah, Damn. That's the old Eric. I didn't get to see Eric while he was gaining the weight. If he's not fat, I'm going to be out of him. Turn around. This is the new Eric. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. my god. All right. Wow. Oh my god. Holy <laughs> that is fat. You ready to step it up now? Eric packed on nearly 50 pounds, coming in at 234 pounds, just a few pounds shy of his ultimate goal. Seriously, you have boobs. Oh my god. Everything. It's obvious that Lori has seen the, the sacrifice that I made to help her with this. I'm very, very proud of him. Thank you. 
And I'm honored, because I know in the end, he did this for me. Gather around, you guys. I want to show you one of our other friends. Can remember her? This is the old Felicia. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, pretty, 0% body nice. fat, right? Here she is. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel so sick right now. Oh, hi. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I've had an eventful morning. Yeah. So I've been throwing up. I do feel like I've sacrificed a lot the last four months for my sister, especially my mental health. Are you excited for this part to be done? Oh, yeah. Two months in, I just hit this, like, deep depression. I don't want her to feel like that anymore. I want her to be positive again and actually look forward to waking up in the morning. Felicia struggled all the way through her fit to fat journey. She only managed to gain 17 of the 38 pounds necessary to meet her goal. From our old friend, Jesse. Lean, energetic, full of life. OK, you guys ready to see the new Jesse? What's up, what's up, what's up? Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Jesse, oh my god. When she walked in, I was like floored. What, what do you guys think? Wow. I'm better than you. It was challenging, and I clearly rose to the occasion. Jesse blew her goal weight out of the water with a 50 pound weight gain. Got the jiggle? <laughs> So about the same time that you guys started your weight gaining process, there was someone else that started theirs. Our last team joined the challenge after Willie and Quincy were forced to drop out. It's affecting my heart. <laughs> so welcome Parneel to the team. Parneel, your trainer, she's gonna be joining us in a little bit. Her name is Carrie. She's a badass. Look at that. So why don't you guys welcome Carrie. Hello. Oh my God, like she's huge. Despite setbacks to her health and less time than the other trainers to gain the weight, Carrie put on 36 pounds. I'm like, who's the trainer? Who's the client? I'm just like, who's who? <laughs> As the trainers get back on track, they'll join their clients who have already started their fat to fit journey. Some are enjoying success. Almost, 238, dude, 238, dude, that's really good though, man. And some are suffering from disappointment. It was going down and now it's back up. These past four months, the trainers have punished their bodies and minds to feel like their clients do and go from fit to fat. I don't feel good. Starting today, they'll be spending the next four months on the difficult journey to lose the weight in order to go from fat to fit. We have a lot of work to do. And now they'll be taking their loved ones with them. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, boy. I see racks of stuff. You look like a king on your throne. Welcome to my kingdom. Eight. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to being trained by my wife. There's going to be a whole new sore that I've never felt before. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> Lucky I counted that one. Uh, Knees up, knees up. I don't care how you get up, get up. Let's go. I put my body through living hell, day by day, for four months, for my husband. Push! Him is being healthy, being active, is quality of life. So if I got to wrap a resistance band around his ass and tug him up a hill, I definitely will. It's not a walk, or you'll do it again. Jeremy, you better watch out. Because <laughs> now I get to kick his ass. <laughs> It's not abnormal for people to puke in my session. Two. My ass is yeah. killing me. Two. Oh, I can't. Three. He had me like thrusting my hips in the air, which would normally be enjoyable. Was not. And rest. Oh my God. Oh my. Ow, 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 ow. Excuse me for a second. I threw that band away. It needs to stay in the garbage, it needs to go away. Slam ball? F you. Uh, I'm like Serena Williams. I don't even know why someone would make a ball that doesn't bounce. It makes no damn sense to me, but that was hell. Oh. Everything you got, come on. That's it. Carrie sacrificed for me. Good job. How I'm going to pay Carrie back is doing all the work that I'm supposed to do. Turn it over, turn it over my time. <laughs> that first workout was brutal. All right, he's up. Woo, woo, this is hard. My chest was closing up. I felt like I was going to pass out, like I thought I was going to throw up. 
More rotation. You gotta rotate. I felt like I was dying. It's probably just gonna get tougher and tougher and tougher. I'm just expecting it to be a challenge. Good job, babe. How you feel? Tired. <laughs> Three, four, five, six. One. Good. Seven. Back down. Two. Right there. Two. One more. And one. My knee is killing me. I'm like so tired right now. Are you just saying that because you don't want to work out anymore? Why would I make that up? This is the most pathetic form of exercise that I've ever seen. You're not giving me a sprint. You're barely giving me a burpee. Looks like I really haven't pushed myself, but to me, it feels like I have. It's frustrating because my sister doesn't get it. Your life is full okay. of excuses. And your, you're not overweight like I am. Your standards you're not overweight kept like you in I the am. predicament that you How you many only times gained 20 pounds. I was throwing up every day. Were you making yourself throw up? Do you think I want to throw up? I so don't throw you should have gained the weight. I tried. You're what is it is you. No. You're, you're no. full of excuses. You give up. You don't care. He says, well, you. Let's get it started. After four months of zero exercise, the trainers are finally going to get back in the field where they excel. 13, 14, all right? Now I have to get back into the fit zone. And I can honestly say, this is gonna be a bitch. Go. Oh, oh. This is my first workout in four months. This is the type of workout I used to do prior to getting in the fat zone. But I almost cried, and that's no joke. I didn't know what it was like to be heavy. 10, halfway there. Lethargic, overweight, not feeling good day by day. 50 pounds, that is a lot of weight. Let's go. You got it. It's definitely strange seeing my wife out of shape. Normally, I will do things and she'll just outdo me. I'm doing this with you, the stairs, okay? Stop, that is demoralizing, go away. Showing off is not gonna bode well Not showing me. off. The fact that Jeremy was antagonizing me. Hurry up. Running up those stairs like that. Like he was competing against me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's very similar to giving me 30 donuts after I ate 30 donuts. It's like he hasn't changed. And that's a huge problem for me. Okay, sit down. I'm not kidding. All right, sit down. Shush! Are we gonna make it through the next four months? I don't know. I used to be able to jump rope for 30 minutes straight. And I can barely do two minutes right now. I can't even really express like how hard it was for me to do just a couple of rounds of rope, of shadow boxing, of punching the, the heavy bag. <sighs> All right. I even felt like my chest closing up. Partially it could be because my blood pressure is still very high. I feel so heavy. I'm not quite sure yet what the hardest part of losing this uh. weight will be because I've never been this heavy. I'm really curious to find out, but also a little nervous about finding out. I usually, I don't give my clients breaks at all. And I'm so tired right now. It's crazy for me to even fathom it, really. So, Come on. not pleased at all Come. with my boxing workout today. Dude, this is terrible. That's not so easy, huh? Cat has his tongue. Me and he can't talk when he's out of breath. Just warming up right now. Just run to catch your breath. Ooh, he's moody. He is not happy about this. You need a break? Yeah. This is a shock. My chest hurts. Yeah. Every part about this is a complete night and day from what I'm used to physically. <coughs> Not good. I'm in the client's shoes. The biggest difference is my stamina. I feel <coughs> like I'm getting older. I'm sitting here. All right, let's see it miss 20 pounds. Pick up your feet, come on. I get sick pleasure from watching her. 
I can't do this. I am so much more out of shape than I thought I was. So, yeah, I'm worried that this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. I don't think I can do any more. Oh my God. Come on, get up. She's having a hard time catching her breath. Oh my God, this is hard. I had no idea that, you know, this workout was gonna affect her like it did. By looking at her, I thought she was gonna easily do this workout, but she really struggled with it. This is so hard. I definitely feel like I understand what Tony's going through when it comes to the lack of motivation. This is really hard. Or the not being able to give up foods or not wanting to work out. I can see how that could lead into this vicious cycle of bad habits because I'm there. I'm really out of shape. And when I was getting really hungry, when we were running down, I was just thinking about french fries. I am really lacking motivation right now. Oh, my back. Oh, my back. Ready? Uh, Mark, is it? Go! <laughs> my goal is to get you a butt. <laughs> We're friends, and for me to be now this person that is just on her constantly is gonna be hard. Fair call. Oh my gosh. Like I can't treat her as a friend and as a client at the same time. Because there are times I have to be hard on her and she has to understand There you that. go, bring your butt low, butt low, butt oh. low, get your butt down. I believe she's thinking like, we're friends, we're gonna be workout buddies and you know, that's all cool. Oh Lord. And that's not at all what this is. That's one set. We have th two more. Two more of these? Two more of the whole thing. Two more of all that? I feel like I'm requiring her to do a lot more than maybe what she wants to do. I'm struggling just like you. I could barely hold up my legs. The Come stakes on. are high. Um, I put my body through a lot. So you know this feels very weird to me because I'm it? carrying like a 40 pound backpack on me right now. And so she's gonna have to really step up to the plate. A lot more has to happen than us just being buddies and working out together. Come on, come on girl, get it. Come on, come on, my blood pressure's high, yours isn't. Let's go. I suppose we'd call that tough love. I'm so out of breath. I know baby, that's the, that's the point of the workout. Woo! Why did I gain weight? <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> So this is what I should be ordering. Mm -hmm. Carrie made a humongous sacrifice. That's good. I can do this. And the fact that I barely lost anything is definitely like a huge punch in the gut for me because I have to make it. Like, I have to succeed. My dad's health is in jeopardy. Love you, baby. I made him this promise. It's not just, oh, she wants to get skinny and be cute. You know, this is critical. All right, Pete, it's way in time. I was 171. I'm hoping to be down 10 pounds, but I actually don't think I am. But, um, uh -oh. well, <laughs> I know. It looks like you are. Yeah, yeah, looks are deceiving. I've gotten through my flip and working out again and eating healthy and whatnot. I really expected that I was gonna see more results by now. Uh. And I felt like I was, but then somebody on the outside said something to me. It's like, oh yeah, you're pregnant, right? And I was like, no, I'm not actually. Oh boy, come on. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> 161. That's five. good. Right? Yeah, so it's almost 10. But I'm really more concerned about you. I really want to know where you're at. I do too. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. I mean, I feel like I've been working out really, like a lot but the scale has been known to fail me. So I was 196, and I'm hoping at least 190. Despite working out and changing her diet for the last four months, Parnell has only lost seven pounds on her own. She has a long way to go from her starting weight of 203 pounds to her goal of 170 pounds. I don't wanna look. 192. So four pounds? Yeah, four pounds. Well, we gotta really get serious. Yeah, it's not enough. In two weeks, I only lost four pounds. Um, so I can understand why Carrie was mad. Usually when someone has a lot more weight to lose, mm -hmm. um, majority of the time, you'll lose more weight quickly in the beginning. I'm definitely gonna take the gloves off with her. 
I'll be there for her. But at the same time, she knows that I'm not the type of person that's that's gonna allow the excuses. Okay, so plan for this coming week. For the workouts, you have to be here every single day. I have a whole box of clothes in there that don't fit me anymore. That thing does not stay on my wrist. This is why I can't get my steps in. Over the past four months, Lori has managed to lose nearly 25 pounds on her own. Now that she's starting to work out with her trainer, Eric, she hopes to lose an additional 35 pounds to reach her goal weight of 175. How are you? Good, how are you feeling today? I'm okay. Food was locked in yesterday? Food was locked in. Like, okay. it was on point. I did start out doing this for Ted as a promise. Ted was my husband. We had made a pact literally three days before he got sick that we were gonna get healthy. That's still a motivation for me. This is her favorite question, by the way. How many steps yet? A few. Let me see. Double tap. Tap, tap. 15.02. I walked all the way to get my nails done yesterday. Do you know how far that was? How many, how many steps you ended up at? Um, I ended up at 11,000 and change by the time I went to bed. So you ended 2,000 steps outside of that walk to the nails? I'm not nails? speaking about that right now, OK? I don't think that needs to. Can you stop doing math? You're supposed to look pretty, not have a brain. That's the way that works. I do feel like I'm getting in a groove and a routine. I feel lighter. I feel lighter. Ow. I feel happier. Lori's been doing great the last couple of weeks. The weight is starting to come off. She's down 30 pounds. So now we should be able to build momentum and still be able to start losing weight at a faster pace. Oh, so I saw my vagina for the first time in a while. <sighs> I normally can't see it. I was in the shower today and I was shaving my legs, Eric. <sighs> And I went to bend over to shave my legs. I'm like, oh my god, I can see the side of my vagina. You know how long it's been since I could see anything? A very long time. Like, a very long time. Oh, ow, ow, my legs. Ow, my legs. Get my steps in. Like a good boy. How happy do I look right now? Do I look just so happy? Got my food packed for Jamaica. I'm going to Montego Bay, Jamaica, and it's all inclusive, but I have every intention not to, to go off track. I'm coming back from Jamaica one pound down. That's what's gonna happen. Easy. At this point, to hit our goal, we need to average a little over two pounds a week. I know. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Well, the, the first step would be losing two pounds in Jamaica. Even though she's in Jamaica to relax, she still has to work out. She can't go crazy with the food or the alcohol. So it would be very easy for her to come back up five pounds. And I mean, if she does that, she's going to be defeated, and she's not going to want to push forward and give the type of um, effort that I've gotten in the last two weeks. So this week in Jamaica is really going to be make or break for what we get out of the rest of this trip. It's, it's all about choices. And so if you can come back and you can say it was worth it because what you wanted more was to eat, drink, and be merry, then that's what you wanted more. So that is going to annoy me because if I don't come back two pounds later, you're going to say I didn't want it. I didn't, I didn't say that. Like I can look. I know you. I can look at your fitness pal and, and tell whether you wanted it or not. I'm going to go try to run a mile. Now, my mile time four months ago was 6.35. To not go back down to what I was at the 131 starting point, that would really be devastating. One mile. 14 minutes, 30 seconds. Are you kidding me? Wow, more than double. <coughs> I've worked so hard <coughs> being fit, and I threw it all away for the person I love and I'm not gonna allow him to let me down or to let myself let me down. My body is like trembling. <clears throat> I completely took this so far. This is what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to get fat. 
That's exactly what I did. Let me just show it off real quick, just in case. Can I do that? I mean, look at this. Seriously? This is, this is not something you can make up. This is real freaking fact. I hope that Jeremy is damn thankful. I'm straight up in the air like Superman. Let your ears hang down. Get your core tight. I don't know why you're locking it. Take it to the wall. It's not funny. Everything you do, I'm gonna hit you. Payback's a bitch, and so am I. Do your burpee. Her going through this process, putting her body through all that stress, it's unbelievable. I can never let her down again. But I'm scared, man. Do your burpee. Stop. Then do it. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to remind him about the 50 pounds I gained. Why didn't you squat? I did. No, you didn't. <laughs> squat. On. Make sure he wholeheartedly understands that I sacrificed my job, my life, Ooh. my health for him to get healthy. <laughs> Don't wiggle the hips. Go ahead. Let me just show you something. Go ahead. Get up. Like, do it. I tried working out with my wife in the past. She's hard on me. Okay, good I get so demoralized. I complain. I whine. Don't wiggle the hips. At some point, her patience will run thin. Go down. Why are you going down? You're straining my back. I'm tired. Can you, can you please get up? Even if he starts complaining about it, if he starts saying, I can't, I won't, <laughs> I'd be pissed. You think I'm pissed now? I'd be pissed. Go down. Uh, Don't wiggle. Go up. If you do it again, I'm going to stand on you. I'm going to make you do five push-ups with me on you. Go. Let's go. It's going to come down to how bad do you want it? I'm not kidding. Do not do it again. Come <laughs> on, Jess. Do five push-ups. I can't. Fuck it. Do it. Now, that's not doubting my husband. That's just being realist, OK? I am a realistic person. And I think if he gets below 200, my mouth will drop. And man, I'm gonna be so proud of him. I'm gonna be happy. We'll go out and celebrate the healthy way. No beers. Go, don't you yeah, get it? One, that's one. I you got four more. Come on. You're too heavy. Okay, let's go. Now you know what I'm talking about. Come on. Yeah. Two. I can't. Three more. I turned my back. Three. Too bad. Let's go. If you can talk, you didn't hurt anything. Get up. That's three, two more. Let's go. Uh, yeah, you should. Get up. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> this is four. <laughs> one more. That was one. One more. All the way up, all the way down. Go. <laughs> there you go. Now you know how heavy I feel. So get up, and when I'm trying to show you something, maybe you will appreciate it. How am I starting to look? It's you know, hard to get there. Been running a little bit. Yeah. So, what do you think I weigh? 163. <laughs> 161. 161. Good job. So, that was, you lost five pounds this week. Yeah. No, you did good. Holy crap. What is the number? 216.2. Nice. But I thought this was going to be the week that I plateaued, right? Mm -hmm. But it's true. I mean, the diet's good and everything. I mean, the diet. I know. I'm amazing, right? Yeah. So, yes, he's lost that amount of weight, but can he keep it off is the real question. And he has a long way to go. When this is gone, maybe you can have a victory slice of pizza. Well, the woman of the hour is supposed to be here. Where the hell is she at? It's 8.04. Did you see anybody in the back? No? She has to make the effort to do what she needs to do. I'm here to train her. Yep. She needs to take advantage yep. of the time that I've yep. allotted yep. instead of not respecting my time. All right, so grab those boxes. You guys are going to jump, squat, and come on back down. Hi. 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 I walked in. I'm feeling embarrassed because here's her other two clients, and they're like busting their ass. And I feel like I'm the client that she's gained all this weight for, and then here I come all late. I bet the clients were probably thinking, like, she did all this for you, and she can't even get her on time. So I felt really, really bad. What happened? Traffic. I feel a little discouraged. I wholeheartedly changed my life to hold up my end of the bargain. I just always think, like, what motivation does she need? We have a goal. We have a set date. We're not messing around. Go! Go! 
Good. Go. The back comes all the way up, and your legs go all the way down, and then all the way up, all the way down. Don't drop your feet like that, though. Double jab, right hand. Go. Go. And time. All right. That's a wrap. Uh, P, you owe me uh, one round of rope. Two minutes from that rope, P. I feel like if you're late to the workout, I'm not gonna put up with your crap. And hop on that bag. She did, like, not respecting me as a trainer. Like, Ready I can't go. treat her as a friend and as a client at the same time. Because there are times I have to be hard on her, and she has to understand that. What time you get up? 6.30. 6.30? You have to make the time to eat before you come. Yeah, but I was like, if I don't leave now, then I'm not gonna make it. So I just left. The last thing is the text messaging. I never looked at your text and, like, ignored it. The thing is, like, P, I tell you what you should do, and then you tell me what you're doing. You're not allowing me to help you. Like, I don't understand why I'm here. I don't. I just feel like every step of the way, it's not good enough, but I'm trying. I'm doing a lot better than before. I haven't had any fast food. I know it's a lot. I do. This whole thing, this thing called life, is on you. It's not on me. And your weight loss isn't on me either. It's on you. But I'm the person that's going to help you get to where you want to be. So take advantage of me. I don't know that she can do this. I don't know that she's mentally ready to putting 100% into this whole process. So I'm on my way to speak at a conference called Fitposium. Hi, how are you? I'm Give very good. How are you doing? Good. With Tony, I, I get very discouraged with her. And I feel bad at times because I know she needs help and I don't want to turn my back on her. But at the same token, I feel like I gave her all the tools necessary. I told her and lined out exactly what she needs to do. Awesome, yeah. So she needs to buckle up and take responsibility and know that the only person that's gonna get her there and where she needs to go is her. I have a gym and my passion is helping people. I haven't heard from my sister Felicia in days. So I feel like Felicia's abandoned me once again. She just left me here thinking that I have the tools that I need, but I need a leader, and she's not giving that to me. Hi, how are you? And I hope that doesn't hurt me too much this week with weigh-ins and stuff. How are you? Good, how are you? Let's take your shoes off. All right. Oh, gosh. The moment Number is truth. here. Tony began her journey from fat to fit at 232 pounds. Having only lost seven pounds on her own, her goal weight of 180 pounds seems a hard target to hit. 221. What were you at when you in LA? 228. So that's seven pounds. All right, I don't even know what I, I think it was like 143 or something. Yeah, it was like 143. 133.5. Wow. So 10 pounds. I don't feel like back to myself. That's even crazy though. how you like lost the weight though that quick. I think she's already pretty much like lost all the weight already that she's gained. And I'm over here struggling <laughs> to lose a pound in a week. I feel like she doesn't care. We're here hiking, yay. Even when we are together, my sister is too focused on herself. I need her to be my leader, and she's not. Hi. I feel like I'm losing my motivation. Feech always on her phone. I have posting. Oh my gosh. Uh huh. I have always. Haters. And I feel like I'm doing this by myself. Whatever. You know what's cool? I can like take my socks on and off. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't it feel better without yeah, having like, that These thing. shirts are fitting. I mean, that's crazy. Okay, good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. you got you're not all sweaty. No, I know. I pretended to take a shower. Oh, yeah. Ooh, hey now. Oh, I pulled my hair off. Mm. Okay, but this is not that kind of show. Okay, you're good. I'm afraid it's going to be it's like 10 pounds over. Oh, there it is. 149. 
Be happy, be He's happy. He's cracking up over there. Mm. I've been in 100%, gaining this damn weight, and now I want to lose it. Jessie has rapidly shed over 30 of the 50 pounds she gained, but she has another 18 pounds to go to reach her original weight of 131 pounds. Okay, 210, here it comes. Man. Ha <laughs> ha! 210.3, I told you, Dang. I told you I would. With his wife's help, Jeremy has lost an astounding amount of weight in the first five weeks. He has less than 30 pounds to go to reach his goal weight of 181 pounds. I feel like I should be under 200. When we both had guts, it was bad because the gut wasn't good. This but but now sexy, it's so it? comfortable. This is really like, good. I mean, I, I still right have now. a gut too. And you do too. Okay, second, let's see what's going Okay. Oh, even better. It may see it. <laughs> Look at that! Oh yeah! I saw 210 pounds. Yeah. I thought that's a good job. I'm over the moon. Um, it's been, you know, exciting, and I have an attraction for Jeremy again. You know what? He's gonna have six pack after all this. <laughs> I was right, right into that pole. That's so good. Is that right? Jeremy is looking great. The sex life is awesome. There's no gut. There's, you know, not a whole lot of sweat dripping on me. We've are closer now than we've ever been before. It's like we're almost newlyweds. I told him, I was like, I feel like I'm cheating on you because I feel like I have a new man in my life. Like, this is great. Oh, you always were the best kisser. Let's go upstairs and go to bed. He has more testosterone, therefore he doesn't tire out. Having sex, making love, doing the bang bang. It's so <laughs> much fun hanging out with him again. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, it feels so good. Headed to Jamaica. Get my tan on. Maybe get my tan on. It's all inclusive, so it's gonna be a little difficult not to drink, but Eric has put his health on the line. This for me. So I'm gonna make Eric proud. So nice. Eric has already texted me this morning to yell at me about my tracker because it was just too hard to track my food yesterday. I literally took the red eye, like I traveled overnight. Look at what time it came across. 1.30 in the morning. I was in bed by nine something. He said, where are you at? Well, obviously I didn't answer him because I was sleeping. When she left for Jamaica, I asked two things of her. Follow the nutrition. So this is what I have. And the way that I'll check on that is you'll put everything in the app and keep your activity up. And the way that I'll check on that is you'll send me a picture of your watch. I asked two things. Hit your numbers, send me a pic of your watch showing me your steps. You wanna do it your way. So okay, I won't bother you about any of it. I mean, that's so unnecessary. If we're gonna get anywhere near her goal, we need like three pounds a week at this point. I don't think she's had a three pound week yet. It is 6.17 in the morning and I am up super early to go to the hotel gym. I have no idea what she's up to. I don't know how many steps she's taken. I have no idea if she's worked out at all. Two days of nothing. I don't think that there's anything at this point that could make me any more disappointed. OK, well, again, you want to do it your way, so I'm going to let you do it your way. I don't understand why he's being like this. She wanted to have me just trust her, but at this point in the process, there had been quite a few weeks where she didn't do what I what I had asked. We ordered southern fried Brussels sprouts with bacon. These are our shots of Jameson, big shots to Ted. Not gonna let it ruin any more of my days. Why would this ruin his days? It's not my job to babysit. She's gotta want it more than this. It hurts my heart to think that Eric doesn't trust. I'm seriously doing what you asked me to do. Tonight, I'm on my way to go work out. My sister's going to put me through a 30-minute workout. She's supposed to be here helping me on my journey. And I feel like she just abandoned me. She was mainly just thinking about herself and not me. I definitely want to talk to her about it tonight before my workout starts. 
but when I confront her, oh my gosh, I don't know how she's gonna react. She might be a biatch. Kinda wanted to talk to you. I feel like you abandoned me. You're not really focusing on me. Cause this is about but, about me right. right now. And I feel like you're just, but it's when about I, Felicia when I do you. focus on you, what is it that you do? You back, when do you, you back focus talk? on me though? Tony is absolutely a quitter. Not just on like fitness, but anything that gets hard in her life. Any obstacle that she's faced with, she doesn't want to do. The support is there, training. Tony. I can't force you to do it this morning. You didn't do cardio. You're take responsibility. You're supposed to be one-on-one -on -one training me and You're, working out You can me. take That's responsibility. What this whole about. You can take responsibility sometimes. You're supposed to be helping me. There's some times where I just want to tell Felicia, hey, this isn't about you. I told you last night, hey, Every night this week, tomorrow, cardio, 45 minutes, here's your interval. I'm here. Mm -hmm. What's your excuse? Every time I express my feelings with anything, she turns it around to make me look bad. So now you want to stop talking because I proved a point. No, Tony. Felicia is self-centered. She always thinks about herself, her needs, her wants. You know, and if she does do a selfless act, then she wants to be praised. I, yeah, I feel like cause... I've been doing this all by myself. I think I'm working like three times as hard as you are. And I'm not complaining about it. I'm just doing it. Good for you. You want a, an award or something? You're always mean. Like, there's nothing to be mad about. I'm sorry, I'm not fake. I'm not gonna be like, yay, like you. <laughs> Just like have a different attitude. Oh my like, God. You know? This is fun. This isn't hard. Why are you crying if it's because fun? Because you're always in a bad mood. I can't do this today. You will I never know. understand what it's like to be overweight. Shut up. You shut the up. She completely lost it. Literally, she threw the whole bar at me. <sighs> I'm so tired of this. So how was your day? Mine was fine until you walked into it. If a friendship gets ruined over something like this, how good of a friendship was it? We went over time and time and you, time you and time. You could be right. I guess I can do this. You honestly make me feel like every little thing is my fault. It doesn't change the next day. It doesn't change the next week. Please don't yell at me. In my opinion, you're half-assing it. If you leave my ass hanging like that, you're on your own for the rest of the six weeks.